Yo, 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 what's cracking YouTube? It's your boy Jose from the Bay on Jose every day. Y'all know what we do. Um, this video is going to be a little different. This is going to be like sort of an intro. I just went shopping, finished the gym. I didn't hit any weights today. All we focused on was on cardio. Shout out to Alvin for joining me today or for inviting me to his uh, cardio session. So we worked on cardio and abs. I'm feeling a little hungry, but it's still a little early. I already went shopping, so I want to walk you guys through what I eat, um, who I am, and like just, just little things like that, you know? Redo this whole thing. Um, for those of you that know, I do have another channel. Um, if you guys are following me from there, shout out to you guys. You guys are showing true support. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys. My name's Jose, guys. I'm from, you know, the Bay Area. You know what's going on, you know? So, I started this, I would say journey um of like losing weight or like getting fit because like my goal is not to lose weight i want to maintain the weight that i'm at but i want to instead of being i used to weigh like i think 280 something pounds now that i'm feeling more comfortable with it i'm at 260 now i should have recorded the process um for those of you guys that have been following me i remember like i would have a lot of like that right here on my neck and that's like the one spot that i feel like i have trimmed down the most um, and in my shirt, like shirt size, because like I used to fill this shirt. Like you used to see my belly just go like that. You know what I mean? Like I used to fill this. I used to fill this jacket, and like that's little things like that. You know, I don't physically see the difference. Like I still see the pancota. You know what I mean? But like I know it's coming down. Um, and again, that's not my goal. I don't feel like I'm not looking at losing weight and being like the skinniest motherfucker because I'm not trying to die skinny. Um, what I am trying to do is just turn into muscle. You know. I, I love the feeling. I love that rush that you get, like, you know, when when you feel the pump, you know, like when you're when you're hitting that certain bump muscle part and like you just feel it, you know. So that's what I personally like. And that's what's like filling me with joy, not the losing weight, not the any, anything like that. It's just, you know, I feel better. I feel more productive. I, this is not something that I was ever expected to do, like show you guys my real life. Um, I think I was always just focused on like the Jose from the Bay. So this channel is mainly going to be focused on like daily vlogs. We're going to try to do like pranks. We're going to do reactions. We're going to do like music reactions, um, get social experiments, go out there, have fun, ask people questions, do challenges with people, um, challenge a random person to do like 10 pushups, you know, like do stuff like that, have fun with it. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the whole, it's going to be something else. I hope you guys enjoy this channel. I feel like a lot of people that are like, Follow me from the other channel. Followed me not because of what I was doing, but because they vibed with my vibe. You know, they like the way that we be chilling. They like the way that we hang out. They like everything that we do. So, if you guys are part of the Sino you know, fan base, you know, it's, thank you guys for joining. Um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, let me show you guys real quick. All right, guys. So just to show you guys a bit of what we're going to be eating this week or like for the next couple of days because I do be running through this food hella fast. Um, I don't usually go for a lot of greens, but I think I got to get them into my system, guys. Like I, I feel like these are good like fillers, um, especially because I need to stick to like a low carb diet just to like lose a little bit more weight. Um, look, we're going to get some celery. I was going to pack some of these like cut up and I'm going to eat this shit with peanut butter. Peanut butter is a good source of like protein. So I'm going to go ahead and eat that. And it's also good. You know, I like peanut butter, you know, it's my favorite thing. Um, the one thing that I would have never seen myself buy and I'm going to try it out is avocados. I hate avocados. I love guacamole, but I hate avocados. I don't know why. Um, eating them alone is just like weird. It doesn't taste like anything. So if you guys have any tips to make it taste better or anything that I could do with like avocados, something, a, a good snack, a good meal, y'all let me know because just eating, I've seen my people just eat the avocado like that and I can't do that, not me. All right, let's put that away a little bit, wait a minute, wait a minute. What else do we get for greens? We've got some romaine hearts. Um, I got romaine hearts, I'm gonna make a, like a Caesar salad. I think that's what I'm gonna eat today for for I think my lunch, I'm gonna have like a Caesar salad with chicken on top of it. Again, I'm trying to have that protein with salad. And then um, later in the day, I'll probably gonna, like for dinner, I'm probably gonna eat a steak. I have a steak in the, oh, I should take it out. Oh, where'd it go? It's right here, Never mind. 
I thought somebody souped it, but I forgot I hid it in the back of everything so that nobody would see the steak because then they would have probably tried to take it and eat it. So I put it away and I hid it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this out. I'm gonna let this defrost throughout the day. Um, run my day at work, make my meals off of what I have, and then dinner is gonna be a fat piece of steak because tomorrow we're gonna be lifting heavy. We're gonna be full, full of energy. You know what I mean? Put this over here. Um, what's next in the list? Uh, I can't have a Caesar salad without. Ooh, I can't have a Caesar salad without croutons. So I got some of these as well. Um, we're gonna toss this into the salad. I got two different flavors. I got cheese and garlic, and I got like the regular Caesar croutons. So we're gonna see what I like. I'm not gonna toss a lot of them in there, but I did want to have like something to like, you know, give it a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna go light on the dressing, or try to find a way to do like a dressing that isn't, you know, too much. Um, but we'll we'll see what's going on. Drop some recipes, guys. If you guys, you know, show some love. Let's go ahead and get this started. Um, Another thing I'm gonna pack for snacks is gonna be carrots. I'm gonna try to pack some, a, a few of them, you know, toss them in there. So when I do get hungry, I'm gonna just munch on some carrots, protein shake, you know what I mean? Stay full, wait for my next meal, you know? Before, this is hard, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Before, my snack, hot Cheetos and a soda, like a Sprite. It had to be a Sprite. I love Sprite. Everybody that knows me knows I love Sprite. Um, but that would be it. Like, I would be hot Cheetos and Sprite. I think that would be the easiest thing. and I like when I would smoke weed, like I would get the munchies and that's like the closest thing at the liquor store, you know what I mean? You go to the store, you get, you know, eat that, whatever, boom, and that was my meal. Now I'm trying to switch it up, you know what I mean? Now we're gonna try to do this. It's gonna be, I don't see this as starting a diet. I feel like I'm changing more of my eating habits. That's the way that I wanna look at it because it's more of a positive way to look at it. I feel like when you think about it as a diet, you're gonna be like, damn, like I have to do that, you know what I mean? But now I'm like, I'm just changing my eating eating habits the same way that I that I'm changing my like lifestyle habits, you know what I mean? I made it a part of my daily routine to wake up and go to the gym, you know. I wake up at four in the morning, shower real quick in cold water, wake the you know wake up, and, like the cold is setting in the in the free, you know. Just wake up, I'll get out. Look, what do I have? This is usually over here, but I got my. Deodorant, boom, boom, before the gym. And then your one a day vitamins, you know? That too. My boys always make fun of me because I take this and they say I only take this so I could go super sane at the gym. It gives me extra powers, they say. They're capping. But, you know? I got some chicken breast for the Caesar salad. And then some drumsticks for like the week, you know what I mean? For like the rest of the week, I think my meals for this week are just gonna be straight chicken. I have broccoli in the fridge, so I'm gonna do chicken, broccoli, um, cauliflower, and like just a little bit of rice. Um, I haven't tried like quinoa or couscous or whatever, any of those other grains, I haven't tried them. If you guys recommend something like that or something different that I could replace my rice with, that'll be a healthier version, let me know. I'm down to try it. Um, like I said, this is gonna be a whole new other experience. So let me know what you guys think, what I should try. All right, so first thing first, you gotta preheat the oven. Um, I like to do it at like 425, 450. Uh, everybody at the house is always roasting me because they say it's too much and it's gonna burn the chicken. But now once does it burn, you know what I mean? It's a little crispy in it, you know what I mean? But it doesn't burn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that to bake. Boom, and then 450. Oh man, I forget. I'm in a Baisa household. I gotta take out the stuff from the oven first. You know what I mean? If you're a Baisa, you know. Everything gets hidden in the stove. You know what I mean? But look, I'm gonna go ahead and let that preheat. We're gonna cook the chicken because that's what we're gonna eat throughout for this week. You know what I mean? Also, make sure you wash your hands before you cook. I washed my hands before I touched the camera, before I did all this. Make sure you wash your hands. There's no point of washing your food if your hands ain't washed. Look, that's that. And I don't do a lot of seasoning, guys. All I do, honestly, for my meals, and I don't know, you guys let me know if, if I'm doing this wrong. Maybe that's why I'm not seeing fast in the results, but look, I just soak my thing in tapatio. My boy Richard does it in Valentina and I like it way better, but with Tapatio it still does the job, you know what I mean? All we do is a little bit just to give it flavor. Just a little bit. Know what I mean? 
Boom. Mix this up. Make sure that shit get well into the chicken, you know what I mean? Get that shit in there. Mmm. 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 That's right. You gotta get the charola. You gotta get the charola. I'm lazy. I don't like I feel like it's just easier and it's fast. Not faster because it takes you longer. It takes you longer to set up, but it's faster in the cleaning. I put foil on this shit, so come on. There's that one, then there's that one. And then that's all I'm basically gonna do. Um, if I did wanna add a little bit more seasoning, and since I do add salt, I like using garlic salt. I like using this, I'm probably not, it's probably not the best option. So if you guys have any other options um, that isn't this another good seasoning, let me know and I'll go ahead and I'll try to find it. This one's garlic salt and it has it's sea salt, so. That's what I'm gonna use. Just put a little bit on that thing, you know what I mean? Look, a little bit on that thing, thing. A little bit on that thing, thing. Everybody says bad uh, salt is bad for you, but all the videos that I watch, everybody's recommending the salt. They said don't, don't, you know, don't fall for that. That's what they said. Don't fall for the sodium being bad for you. Let's look. Boom. Oh, there's one. All right, now that the chicken's all set up. All right, now that the chicken's all set up, guys, um, now we're just gonna wait for the oven to preheat. While that's doing that, um, I'm gonna cut up some of the, let's cut up the romaine. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get this started. Um, I'm gonna use the romaine, so I'm gonna make that Caesar salad I was telling you guys about. This is gonna be one of my uh, meals for today for work. Um, all right, so while the chicken finishes up cooking in there, boom, boom, boom. I tossed in a chicken breast in there just cause I forgot I was doing a Caesar salad and I'm like, I'm not gonna eat a chicken. I didn't want to eat the drumsticks with the Caesar salad. So I was like, I'm gonna just make a chicken breast. So I tossed it in there. Hopefully it comes out good. I grilled it last time. Um, I'm gonna bake it this time. I think I'm gonna switch it over to like broil to get like the top part to be a little crispy, but in a little bit, in a little bit. All right, so let's just let that settle in for a little bit. So a little bit about myself, guys. My name is Jose. Um, as of you guys know, I've, I do have another YouTube channel, so um, I do do that stuff over there. Um, I'm, I think I'm not going to focus as much on that channel anymore. I do want to cut down and I want to focus more on fitness. Um, like I said a little earlier, I like the pump. I, I, I feel like that high, that natural high is just amazing. Um, when you when like you feel the blood just flowing through your body and like that muscle part just growing and expanding, like you feel that like it's just a whole other feeling and I just love it. Like it's different. Um, I regret not getting into this sooner. So a little bit about my Myself, a little background on why I'm big man like I, I was a couch potato guys like I, I didn't I never wanted to get up and move I never wanted to do any of that stuff hold up let's set the camera down but yeah I was like a couch potato guys like I didn't like to get up and move like I was just finding excuses to sit down I would drive everywhere um, like it was just better to sit you know and like now getting up and getting active feels much more better like right now like I still have the whole day to go it's barely like 11, 10, it's 10 in the morning. It's 10 in the morning. And I'm already halfway, I'm already halfway through my day. So being productive just makes it a lot better, you know what I mean? Staying active. Um, I feel like I'm a lot more productive too now. Like, I'm able to move more. Like, I'm able to push my own body weight too, which is like crazy. Because before, like, I wasn't even able to do push-ups. Now I'm doing push-ups, you know? And like, is it blows my mind. That's what I think is like motivating me going. It's like keeping me pushing, you know, like, damn, like I really did something, you know, like I really, you know, take that next step. But yeah, um, that's basically me. Um, I didn't want to do anything. Um, in PE, all the high school, all the middle school, I would never do anything. I would always avoid everything. Like I would skip all the 
all the workouts. I would find a way to, you know, I was like the bad kid in class sitting in the back not doing anything, you know? And that's where this ended up. Like, I didn't want to get active. So if you guys are watching, make sure you guys try to get active, guys. It's not that hard. Um, all you got to do is just get out there. Once you're out there, it's just like getting the work done is the easiest part. The hardest part is just getting there, you know? Once you get that down, I feel like you're just going to just kill it, you know? Throughout high school, a way that I avoided taking PE and I thought would be easier was I took JROTC, which is like the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. It's like a military class um, that would like uh, take over for your PE credit. So I took that because they only worked out once a week. But when they did work out that once a week, it was like some killer shit. So I was like, damn. Um, and I always avoided that too. I would always get in trouble. I don't know how I ended up passing PE throughout like my school years, but I did. I always passed like a C or a D, but not doing anything. You know what I mean? Um, but now that I like, if I were to, if I every time I'm at the gym, I look back at it. I was like, if I would have started back then, I would have been a beast right now. If I would have like fell in love with it the way that I am right now, I would have been a beast by now. So now it's just changing this into that beast that I want to be, you know what I mean? And that's coming soon. It's just all about time. It's all about patience. I'm bringing you guys along with me. Um, but once we get there, once we get there, we're not going to end this journey. It's just going to be the start of something new, man. A start of a whole new lifestyle. I appreciate you guys for joining in, man. It's your boy Jose from the Bay. And this is what we do, man. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Um, any other video ideas um i dropped the previous video on my last channel this is going to be a whole new channel so make sure you guys subscribe to this one it's your boy jose and we're doing this shit every day